beef ragu for you, coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Manoilovich. Before I share a really fantastic recipe for tagliatelle with beef ragu, how about an invitation to head to weekendatthecottage.com. When you're visiting our website, please subscribe to it. Look for us on our dedicated YouTube channel. Remember, give us thumbs up if you like our videos, drop us comments, and click the bell button for notifications. After that, why not take photographs of all the great stuff you're making and use hashtag Weekend at the Cottage when you post them on your Facebook favorite socials like Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. This is such a fantastic dish. We're doing a tagliatelle with a beef ragu. Perfect if you're serving a crowd on a weekend, you're going somewhere, this meal delivers big flavor, wonderful appearance, it's got it all. We start with a pie plate for a pasta recipe. We're starting with three tablespoons unbleached all-purpose flour, teaspoon salt and pepper. We're gonna mix those ingredients together and now we're going to dredge three pounds of a chuck or blade roast. I've cut my roast into four pieces. The butcher tied it up with string and now I'm dredging the roast. We're then heading to stovetop, Dutch oven, medium high heat, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. As soon as the oil starts to shimmer, we add in our pieces of beef. Our objective is to brown the outside, so let them cook for a few moments, take some tongs, turn them on the side. And then after a few moments, keep turning them. It'll take about 10 minutes for the beef to get perfectly browned on the outside. We now add three bay leaves, hopefully fresh bay leaves if you have them. Last thing, two cups of beef stock. As soon as the beef stock comes to a boil, we're reducing to a simmer, adding our cover, and you're gonna slow cook this beef for three to three and a half hours. After that three and a half hours, our goal is for the beef to be very tender. We're gonna trim away the string. We're taking two forks and just gently pull apart the beef. If there's any little fatty bits, just trim those away, discard them. But in the end, you'll have all of this pulled beef. We're gonna place it to the side. Clean out your Dutch oven. We're going back to stovetop. Clean Dutch oven goes on stovetop, medium high heat, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, as soon as it starts to shimmer, we're adding half of a sweet Vidalia onion, finely diced. Stir the onion around, let it sweat for a bit. Now we're gonna boost the flavors with one tablespoon of red chili flakes, tablespoon dried oregano, teaspoon celery salt, and one teaspoon of garlic salt. We're gonna stir our spices in, let them sweat for a little bit before we add one cup of chopped carrot, one cup of chopped celery, and also two cups of cremini mushrooms, very thinly sliced. Those vegetables, stir them around in the pot, Lid goes on, we're gonna cook those veggies for about five minutes. Now, as we remove the lid, you can see the vegetables are nice and soft. Time to finish our sauce. One can of tomato paste, stir it in, cook it for a few moments. Four cups of pureed tomato. Now some additional great flavors. One can of sliced black olives. One can of sliced green olives. Add the pulled beef back into the sauce. Stir, and you're probably thinking, hey Nick, this ragu is pretty thick. Yes, because it's missing one final ingredient, the thing that makes this ragu so fantastic. We're adding one cup of red wine. I recently discovered a lovely red wine I love to use. Click up here to head to Weekend at the Cottage to check out the full story. I'll tell you all about that wine. We're adding our wine into the pot, stir it in. We're gonna cover and let this just simmer for 10 minutes. That gives us enough time to cook off our pasta. Soup pot on stovetop, filled with water, it comes to a boil, throw in some salt, and then I'm using a tagliatelle, this ribbon-like long noodle. It comes in little nests. We add them into the pot. Our pasta is perfectly cooked at seven minutes, al dente, to the bite. We strain our pasta. Now let's go to table and serve. I have soup plates. I twist up the tagliatelle into each soup plate, 
grab a ladle and then add that glorious ragu. It just spills on top of your pasta. A little bit more, please. A little bit of the sauce before passing your bowls around for people to enjoy. How about a few shards of a Reggiano Parmigiano on top? This tagliatelle with beef ragu is ready to be enjoyed. I have a spoon, I have a fork. I wanna give you the big taste test. I have a clump of this gorgeous beef and some pasta. Mmm, 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 mmm. The beef is super tender, the pasta cooked perfectly. The sauce is very flavorful. You gotta try this tagliatelle with beef ragu. And after that, come on back and hang out again with Weekend at the Cottage. Always about good food, good friends, good times. We'll see you again. Come on back. Take care. Mmm, very good. Mmm.